So after spending several years um, messing around with various clamps, G clamps and and sockets to try and remove um, the valve springs from a cylinder head. Yeah, sort of like that. You put put a, a socket on the top there. You put the clamp underneath, and you, you can wind down the spring to get the collets out and so on. Um, it's, it's all good, and I happened across this tool on eBay the other day for. Well, it was under 10 quid, eight pounds 80 or something. Um, this is the first time I've used it. Let's have a look at it. Um, hmm. Okay. It's all right. Um, it's all there. Not sure how, oh, I see, right. Let's take, this one and this one. Um, there's a handy little tool. I mean, cheap eBay tools, are they worth it? It's a difficult one to answer really because sometimes they are rubbish and you might as well have saved your money. Having said that, sometimes they're not great, but for the home mechanic, somebody who's going to do something like this you know, once in a blue moon, well actually, I rather think they are worth it. Or certainly worth having a go, because it doesn't often make life easier if you have the right tool for the job, or something close to the right tool for the job. What have I got here? It doesn't make sense. So look, oh, I missed something. I've taken the wrong piece. Ah, look, there's a piece there. There's a hole. <laughs> it's interesting, the other one hasn't got a hole in it for the Tommy bar. And it's, um... Gosh. <laughs> the threads leave a bit to be desired. But, uh, not too much. Okay, let's see how this fits on. Oh, gone too far, I think. Bit more. There we are. Okay, so this bit, can you see that? This bit seats onto the spring top that's it and there's clearance down here and here we're just resting that on the valve at the other end there's various sizes for various valves and springs realistically I think I ought perhaps have put a pad or something between them just to protect that valve okay so let's have a go let's and press this spring as, well, as far as I can go by hand. Let's put the Tommy bar in <coughs> or not. Well, that's not good, is it? <laughs> that's about as far as the Tommy bar will go. Okay, so we just need to drill that out a little bit. Okay, so winding it down, compressing the spring to about there. Now, getting the collets out, what I find, you can use like a torch with a little magnet on the end or something. Don't always have that. What we often do have is a screwdriver with a magnetic tip. And hopefully, oops, perhaps we need to wind that down a little bit more. There we go. Is that enough? There we are, there's one collet. And the other collet, perfect. Um, OK, 
Okay, so gently, Tommy bar back in, wind it back out, slowly. It can't really go anywhere, but it's always worth just keeping your face out of the way. There we are. Oh. Wow, okay. There we are. The springs, in a, uh, outer spring, inner spring, off at the top, and out pops one very coked up valve, but a relatively nice seat on it. Oh gosh, look at that. All right. Yeah, a lot of cocaine there, but the seat looks good. Well, there we are. That's the, the, the valve spring compressor tool with non-fitting Tommy bar. Um, all we need to do now is check the free length of these springs to see if they need replacing. They're, the bike's 41 years old. Um, another cheap tool. This one was from Aldi supermarket. Vernier gauge, turn it on, does me fine. Let's have a measure. Free length, you're measuring free length of the springs. Free length is 30, 39.96. Thereabouts. Yeah, 39.96. So 40 millimeters and the inner spring is 30 33 33 so 33 and 40 checking the book the tolerances should be valve spring free length inner 33.5 so it's a little bit low, but not much. Outer, 40.9. Again, a little bit, but not too much. The limit for the outer is 39.8. So we're, we're okay with that. And the limit, the wear limit for the inner is 30 mil. So we're, we're bang on with that. Might replace them anyway. So there we are. Um, terrific. That was easy. Um, I'll do the other one now. Um, eBay, 10 quid. Is it worth it? Do you know what? Yeah, I think in this instance, a cheap eBay tool for the home mechanic, valve spring release. That would have been 20 minutes of swearing uh, with, with with this. Because once You can see once you compress it with the, uh, the socket, it's really hard to get the collets out. There we are. Um, I hope you enjoyed that or, or, or found that useful. Um, perhaps if I come across anything else, I'll uh, post another video. Cheers.